Good morning, if you want to call it that. Um, at this point, we still don't know who has won the election. And we still don't know who's won the Senate because there are seven seats unaccounted for. Um, so if anybody knows any more about that, drop it down below because uh, I'm curious. Um, at this point, I'm still hoping this is what's going to happen. But uh, I'm concerned, to say the least. Um, okay, so at this point, Biden has 224 and Trump has 220, 213, sorry. Um, but Biden has won Wisconsin, so that's 234, plus he's won Nevada, so that's 240, plus Michigan, so that's 256, Arizona, 267. He's got three of the electoral votes in Maine, so that's 270, and he's got one in Nevada. So, I mean, Nebraska, sorry. So that's one. That's 271. 224, 34, 40, 56, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Yeah, 271. But that, and, and Trump right now has 213 plus the one in Maine plus, uh, so that's 214 plus four in Nebraska. So that's uh, 218 that we put on his side. But if he wins Georgia, where's my phone? 218, I gotta do this manually. 218 and 16, um, what's that, 234? Eight and six, 14, right? Yeah. That's 234. Pennsylvania's still out there to play. So if he wins Pennsylvania, he'll have 254. Okay, here's the thing about Alaska. Only 36% of the vote has been counted yet. Yeah, they're saying uh, it looks like 61% is going to the Republicans. But only 36% of the vote is in. So Alaska has three electoral votes. North Carolina has 15 and North Carolina. Uh, it looks like it's gonna unfortunately go to Trump. So 95% reported Trump has 50.1 and Biden has 48.7. Can't believe Asheville went uh, light blue. That's ridiculous. I don't know if any of you ever been to Asheville, but I lived there for 15 years. And I mean, it is extremely liberal. It's like a little Key West in the mountains. And it's light blue. That's crazy. It's You know why? Because of gerrymandering. Okay, so if Trump wins, let's see, 213, 229, Oh, wait, 213, 14, 218 plus 16 is 234. Plus, we don't know what's going to happen with Pennsylvania, so that's 254. No, we're not going to add. We're not going to add Pennsylvania in there yet. So 234, let's say he's going to get Alaska, okay? So that's 237. And if he gets uh, North Carolina which is 15, that's 252. 538 minus 252. That's 286 at Golden Joe, but we've got to win Pennsylvania. So let's do a reading on Pennsylvania. The other good thing about it is, is that Georgia, you know, the, the votes that are out are around Atlanta, and Atlanta is so cosmopolitan. Um, so that's Fulton County and DeKalb County, 
County, I think is around Macon. Um, let me look. Georgia. So we got 15 electoral votes. Um, 92% reporting. The ones that haven't been counted are the mail-in votes. And by the way, that bastard, Louis DeJoy, has uh, somehow misplaced or lost 27% of the votes in Florida. And probably more all over the place. Okay, so... So, absentee, absentee votes for presidential county candidates in Georgia are 51.1%. I really don't know what's going on with the Senate. It's Dems 46, Republicans 47. Where are the other seven? We got one blue senator from Georgia. So... Lost a couple in the, in the house. I don't know, you guys. Georgia, can, can you imagine Georgia going blue? I mean, I know it's wishful thinking, but I kind of thought it was going to. Um, so, at this point, Georgia... Like I said, 50.5 for Trump and 48.3 for Biden. And there's 92% in it. So let's do Pennsylvania and let's do Georgia because let's do yes and no's. We'll do Pennsylvania, Georgia, and North Carolina. We use the magical dog taro. By the way, uh, I I am gonna do the. I am going going to do the drawing for this book, first edition copy of Michelle Obama's book Becoming, on Thanksgiving Day at noon. So stay tuned for this and. Um, I, you know, I kind of hate to part with this, but I, I, I also want to share it because it's a very, very good book. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, so let's do, let's do these in order about how, of how many votes they have. So, uh, so Pennsylvania has 20, North Car Georgia has 16, and North Carolina has 15. So, Spirit... Who's going to read this? Spirit, can you tell us is Biden going to win Pennsylvania? Spirit, is Biden going to win Pennsylvania? There's millions of votes out still in Pennsylvania. All mail-in votes. And you know that some, some of these votes aren't going to be done for a lot of these states probably till the end of the week um, because uh, I don't think the military's votes are, you know have been counted yet so um. Spirit can you tell us is Biden going to win Pennsylvania is Biden going to win well let's see Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Cups and wands. Or yeses. Major arcanas are yeses. Pinnacles and swords are noes. Hmm. 
three yeses so far and two noes. Four yeses, four yeses and two noes. So I'm going to put an exclamation by my little Pennsylvania thing. Okay, now let's do uh, Georgia because they have 16 electoral votes. Let me up, I'm going to update this. Georgia. Trump's still ahead. But there's still only 90%, 92% of the vote in. And, oh man, you guys. <sighs> Breathe. Remember that movie, Waiting to Exhale? That's how I feel. It's like... Get a cup of tea, chamomile tea. That's what I'm gonna do when I go upstairs. I'm gonna get a cup of chamomile tea and I'm gonna do needlepoint and I'm gonna try to relax. I mean, we gotta have this. Joe says if Trump takes this to the Supreme Court, he'll make an ass out of himself. Spirit, can you tell us if Georgia going to turn blue? Spirit, can you tell us is Georgia going to win for Joe Biden? Spirit, can you tell us is Joe Biden going to win Georgia's fifth, sixteen? Spirit, is Georgia going to win for Joe? Cups and Wands are yeses. Pentacles and Swords are no. God, you guys, that's a yes. We got two Major Arcana, and we have a Cup, and we have a Wand. We have one Pentacle and one Sword. Oh my God. That would be a freaking awesome. Hopefully it's coming fast. Because we need justice. Joe's holding his own. Love from the spirit. I just, you know, I told you guys months back that I was scared. I'm still scared. Still scared. I guess I look a little crooked here, huh? Look at my hair. Oh well. Did you guys see the five hour, five and a half hour marathon with Celestial Chris Taro? It was me, 
crisp. Sharon, I'm not sure. Sharon is with I don't remember who she's with. Debbie Freebird Spirit, Lola Kay, and um, let's see, Sharon, Deborah, Kim from Intuitive View, Lola Me and Chris. That's on Chris's channel. It was five and a half hours. And I sat here about halfway through it. And all of a sudden, my allergies went just went so crazy. I couldn't even breathe through my nose, and I was constantly sneezing. I had to get off. But then I went upstairs and took some meds, and um, I was able to uh, I was able to uh, come on to the YouTube site where it was live and um, at least chat because I mean my face was all red, my eyes were all puffy. Uh, it was, it was really terrible. Okay, so what's going to happen in North Carolina? So that's 31. That's 51 electoral votes that we could use. And frankly, Alaska is only 32% in. Now, I mean, I know Alaska is typically red, but, you know, Sarah Palin and all that. But, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, some Alaska, some of Alaska's votes, I kid you not, are coming in by dog sled. Can you imagine that? I wouldn't live there for all the tea in China. Too cold for me, boy. Okay, North Carolina. Are you going to go blue? Spirit, can you tell us if North Carolina is going to go blue? Remember, you guys, what we're counting on now is mail-in votes. And absentee votes and we're counting on to, to joy to go to prison <sighs> spirit are we gonna win North Carolina is Joe gonna win North Carolina spirit can you tell us can you please tell us is Joe gonna win is Joe Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, the Death Card, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Okay, so we got two no's and three yeses. And the King of let's see. Cups, yeah. We got uh Two no's and four yeses. Death card, change and transformation, baby. Ten of cups. A message and the king of wands. So, from my lips to God's ear, right? Okay, we're gonna put a exclamation 19 minutes. Might as well, might as well do Alaska. I'm not counting on Alaska, but you never know. I don't know how they're doing up there with COVID either. Okay, one more spirit. Can you tell us about Alaska? Is Alaska gonna go blue? I mean, they still have it in the undecided. Is Alaska going to go blue? Spirit, can you tell us is Alaska going to go blue? Is Alaska going to vote for Joe? Alaska has three electoral votes. Will they go for Joe? Is Joe going to win Alaska? Let's 
see. Did you guys watch any of Joe, the Dave and Lena show last night? That was interesting. I don't know how all of us could be so wrong if Trump wins. Okay, it's the Temperance card. That's a yes. Six of Cups, that's a yes. Four of Wands, that's a yes. Oh, God, come on. Come on now. Are we going to get the three electoral revolts from Alaska? Yeah, we are. The Devil and the Tower. Six out of six for Alaska. Can you imagine that? Okay, well, let's ask you guys, you know, uh, sometimes the powers that be tell you what you want to hear. I mean, because that was, that was four out of four yeses. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm not right. Maybe it's just what I want to believe. Um, I hope this has helped calm your uh, fears just a little bit. Um, hopefully. Oh, Georgia update. Ninety-two percent in. Let's a, get checked for oh, It's on a commercial. Um. Twitter. Are you guys on Twitter? Uh, I think Louis DeJoy is going up before the. Before the some kind of court today. But uh, I'll come back on if anything changes, you guys. Um. Hopefully, we'll all be drinking champagne tonight, right? So, keep your fingers crossed. Do your sage. Um, pray. Um, I don't know what else to say. We need Pennsylvania. Georgia would be... I mean, if we got those... We're in like Flynn. Like in like Flynn should be in jail. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. Oh, here's your phone. Oh, I couldn't resist. But anyway, um, let's just do one more. 23 minutes. Is Joe going to win the election? Spirit, can you tell us? Is Joe going to win? Is Joe going to win the election? I think he's might already have the popular vote. Is Trump going to win the electoral election? Is, I mean, I'm sorry. Is Joe going to beat Trump in electoral votes? Is Joe going to win the electoral votes? Spirit, can you tell us? Is Joe going to win the electoral votes? You know, okay, so then the first Wednesday after the second Monday in December, the electoral college votes. I, who comes up with this shit, huh? All right, is Joe going to win? General election via electoral college. There's a cup. There's a sword. There's a pinnacle. There's a pinnacle. That's three. That's two. What's this one? The strength card. It's three to three. You know, it, I think it might be possible that there would be a tie. Change of transformation, baby. That's four. Eight of cups, baby. 
Six of Pentacles. Four to five, Joe's gonna win. Okay, so now you guys, it's the time to manifest. Pull it down, breathe deeply, meditate. Imagine Joe up there with his wife swearing on the Bible, January 20th. Imagine Joe, just see it in your head, just see it. He's, he's being inaugurated. Okay, I'm signing off. Love you. Keep the faith. It's going to be okay. <laughs>